Hi, it's Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm creating Mama Elephant treat bag tags using Bootastic Creative Cuts and the Bootastic Stamp Set. Bootastic Creative Cuts includes dies for all five costumed kids, as well as the cat, treat baskets, wand, and the critters. I start by stamping all the characters onto their respective die cuts. Later, I'll choose which ones I'll use on the tags. Then I take the embellished tag die and die cut white bases. I plan to adhere patterned tags die cut from Pebbles 31 paper pad to those bases. I choose a starry background for the witch, a skull background for the mummy, and a netted background for the princess. In order to stamp a sentiment that shows, and also to mute the dark backgrounds, I'm going to layer vellum on top of the patterned paper. Now I'll go ahead and die cut tags from both the pattern pieces as well as the vellum. The next step is to color in the characters. I'm just going to fast forward through all the coloring. I use Wink of Stella on the princess's outfit to give her sparkle. When all three characters are colored, I arrange them on their respective tags to see how they look. It looks like the princess needs something extra, so I'm going to die cut and stamp a starry wand for her. I decide to use the same Your Bootastic stamp set on all three tags since it fits the best across the bottom of the tag. I'm going to stamp the sentiments using Versamark ink and he emboss them in black. First, I use my embossing buddy on the vellum so excess powder doesn't stick where I don't want it. After stamping, I pour black embossing powder onto the ink, do a little cleanup, and use my heat tool to set the powder. When all three tags are done, I take out two spools of hemp teak cord that have Halloween colors on them. When are you going to use those bags? <laughs> right now. I'm going to use the smaller stamps from Bootastic to decorate these zipper pouch treat bags. I love the craft base and peekaboo window on these. Using Versamark ink for a subtle background, I'm stamping a background with spiders for the witch. Next, I stamp bats on the treat bag for the mummy. Finally, I use the pumpkin treat basket to stamp a background for the princess. While I wait for the ink to dry on the treat bags, I adhere the characters to the tags with foam tape. Aren't you going to use the key cat? I decided not to use the cat because it overcrowds the tag. Before adhering the princess, I add a bit more wink of Stella on her crown, wand, and the star on the witch's dress. I've filled the treat bags with sour apple rings. I love that they have a handy ziplock, so I'm going to close the bags before attaching the tags. 
I'm going to offset the vellum just a bit from the pattern paper and use a tiny attacher to hold all the pieces together. I actually want to use one staple to attach everything to the treat bag, so I remove that initial staple. After stapling the cord and tags to the bag, I tie a knot and bow to finish. Then I repeat the same steps with the two other bags. Now my treat bags are done. The mummy's my favorite. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. Thanks so much for watching.